Lydia, this is the way things are supposed to work, I guess. Fed raises rates. Uh, it, it, all companies, but especially Wall Street companies, look at what the future uh, is going to bring. And they kind of have almost self-fulfilling. They kind of bring that future upon themselves. But, I mean, it's, it seems like probably a prudent thing to do, to, to pull in your horns a little. Well, you know, as banks are doling out bonuses this year, I think it's really an opportunity for them to optimize and to lean out their workforce. As you mentioned, every major bank is instituting one, two, three percent culling at Goldman Sachs. That's closer to eight percent. And bonuses are sort of an extension of that, that winnowing out process. For everyone on Wall Street, bonuses can be as much as 90 percent of your compensation. And so that number that you get on your check, that is a clear message for management whether or not they value you. And so we're seeing this resurgence of sort of SVP, firing by process, that it is so much easier to sort of gently nudge someone out the door. It saves banks a lot of money if somebody leaves on their own volition. They don't have to deal with risks of litigation, accelerated vesting, uh, massive severance. And so that's kind of what this process is, right? You know, Michael Lewis famously wrote about equities in Dallas, right? We're seeing that instead of giving somebody a pink slip, you just slowly ice them out. So I think those underperformers are going to be getting probably nothing, maybe very little. But I think for the rainmakers and some of the top performers at these banks, these banks understand they need to hold on to top talent, whether it's the thick times or the thin times. And so they're going to do to the best of their ability, you know, just try and hold on to those rainmakers, uh, uh, you know, because the economy is going to come roaring back and they want to be positioned to take advantage of that.